Kuchim Babaim. In this short video, I will talk to you about verbs and binyanim. Surprise! Um, some people ask me and they say, hey, listen, is this really necessary to talk about all these structures and this and that? I mean, I can just learn sentences and I can also just learn verbs. You I mean, give me the infinitive and I learn the whole conjugation and I'm done. Why do I have to know what there is behind? Good point, actually. Good point. And I tell you why. Well, first of all, there is nothing in European... English is a European language, even though you might be American. There's nothing in any language, English or other European languages, that compares to the Hebrew structure. That's a fact. So don't compare. Yes, you can do this. And I know there are tons of videos out there saying, Oh, I teach you Hebrew. Just a little bit of Hebrew. How do you say this? How do you say that? Well, it's a way of doing it, nothing against it. The question is, what is your priority? You want to know the language or you just want to show off with a couple of sentences that you can do at the airport like that? No problem. But do you want to speak and do you want to be in control? And this is where we are going. If you want to be in control, well, then Houston, we have a problem. Because if you just learn Hebrew by sentences that somebody told you that means you, you you are unable to do it yourself you need somebody to tell you exactly what to say and how to say it you will never be able to say it yourself outside the situation that they teach you next point is that if you do not know in hebrew verbs how to come from a to b and this and that you are not in control of modifying your language um that means you don't know how to switch from the binyamin between active and passive and you know what, guys? Once you master the binyanim, that means the whole work system, the structures, and you recognize these patterns, it's all about patterns. Once you recognize them, 50% of the time you're able to read without Nikut. Hey, how cool is that? Why? Because you see what it is. You see, oh, it is this verb. For example, if I told you that a PL is always um, the infinitive of PL is always the three letters plus a lamet in front and it is le da ber. So let's say it is always e a e. Okay, this is the sound. Next time you see a verb, a root, three letters and the lamet, you know it is e a e. Okay, le ta per, le da ber. So you recognize the pattern and Hence, you know how to pronounce it. Well, that's cool, right? But this is not the only thing. The other thing is that Hebrew is a system where this is the way to do it. And there is a reason for that. It comes, everything is built in, okay? So if you, you can do it. I mean, take the Shmuel Belotsky, no problem. Take the Shmuel Belotsky 501 Hebrew verbs and learn every word just by the whole conjugation. I tell you one thing, it's extremely tiring it's exhausting and you have no clue what you're doing because it is always a fact that you learn more either the the form of the first um, uh, person singular ani or i don't know you use more who which is he third person singular but you ne rather you, you don't really learn the rest of them what well, you do once but then you don't remember and since you don't have a structure you don't know what you're doing so guys this is the main reason we are doing this because what you invest in the beginning you will reap at the end people who go with these videos where the, uh, some people tell you they teach you hebrew and they I give you a sentence and how to say this and how to this that's nice this you can do additionally but if you don't know where you're going let's say you don't have a driver's license that's it that's it and don't worry, it is doable. I understand Hebrew needs a lot of patience, but it's doable. And the system is key. Invest in the system and you will get there. I understand it's tiring, but it's not impossible. But if you stay with the system of learning sentences and how to say this and somebody else taught you another sentence and I mean, hello, give me your comments. Did that work for you or after four or five years with this method,
you are still the same, may that be true? Don't cry, I'm with you, I understand you, I am on a mission and really my deepest wish is to get you forward, but guys, don't get fooled, if you want a shortcut, unfortunately Hebrew is not the language, and even for Spanish, hey listen, I'm living in Spain, you know how many foreigners are telling me, oh Spanish is so simple, and then after years that they're living here, I'm thinking, yeah, hmm, I thought that would be something you would know, but hey, not everybody has the same how to say not everybody wants the same level of the language if you just want to order a beer that's completely fine too no judgment if you want to master the language invest in the basis and then you're gonna fly and by the way invest in pa'al and then whoa the rest will be a walk in the park and not the other way around guys i love you i'm with you i also love hebrew verbs and i will bring this love to you okay see you in the next video there she got. Shalom.